So great, good evening everyone. And we are here again with our fourth PD session. And so, um, so uh, please excuse today, I'm, I'm on the move. And so you'll see me moving a little bit as I keep speaking. So it's greetings, dear friends. Welcome to the Association for Primary Education and Research, APER. So it's a platform for professional development, exciting, informative, enlightening. We strive to bring the best from the education fraternity who also like APER want to share their expertise with all aspiring learners, motivated and inspired to learn in these tough times too. So very happy today that, uh, you know, again, another transformational educator, Ms. Sangeeta Puri is here with us. We're very happy uh, by overwhelming response, participants and wholeheartedly welcome each one of you. So my name is uh, Kusum Kanwar and I'm the APER National Core Committee member, the secretary of APER, the mentor of territories, Telangana and Mumbai, Malad Bhayandar. Today it is um, you know, my great honor and pleasure to present the Association for Primary Education and Research Workshop Series by Mumbai, Malad Bhayandar Territory. A huge gratitude to ECA APER President, Dr. Swati Popatwats for continuously creating and fostering nurturing environments for the well-being of all children, her teams, for every educator here and in the country. Gratefulness and appreciation to the entire APER national team, all leaders, members, for constantly supporting and encouraging APER initiatives. These July August series of free professional development workshops are organized and synchronized by two very dynamic, vibrant and self-motivated territory heads of Mumbai, uh, Malad and the territory. Uh, we have Dr. Jaya Pari, the principal of Ramratna International School, and with us the vivacious Dr. Seema Negi. You can see her all pretty there, director principal, Sanjeevni World School, Thank you for having such prolific speakers and pertinent topics for all of us in these Covidian times. APER, a little bit about it. Of course, you, most of us who are joining, uh, you know, who regularly join us know that it's Association for Primary Education and Research and is tailored around promoting growth mindset, which will help ignite the human greatness. APER supports teacher training and programs that help in promoting the holistic development of children by promoting creativity, strengthening self-directed learning skills, imbibing core values, as well as you know, helping adopt a healthy lifestyle. Association for Primary Education and Research is a nonprofit initiative that brings together professionals, educators, educationalists with a vision to let quality education for primary children be the right of every child and every way. So as I conclude, uh, you know, I, I must thank Ms. Reshma from ECA APER head office for relentlessly managing all our APER, APER events so efficiently, thanking all participants and thank you once again for being a part of APER professional development workshop that we bring to you in these challenging times. We're inspired by enthusiasm and passion to learn and uh, also implement the golden nuggets from a platform in your remote teaching. Please do be a part of our PD workshops on, um, you know, uh, whenever, wherever we announce. And so today it is with Ms. Sangeeta uh, Puri. And, uh, you know, I would also now uh, uh, request Dr. Seema Negi to introduce our speaker for the day and encourage you to join our WhatsApp groups to stay updated on all initiatives Please email your name, your WhatsApp number, your location to ECA admin at the rate gmail.com. Now be mindful, admin here is without the I. So it is ECA ADMN. So thank you and look forward to great synergies today as I hand over the virtual stage to Dr. Seema Negi uh, to introduce the expert speaker. And thank you. And the stage is all yours, Dr. Seema Negi. Thank you so much and all the best, Dr. Uh, Ms. Sangeeta Puri. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mrs. Kanwar. That was so enlightening. So when the evening starts with such positive note, we know we have something very special coming up. And this 
evening the special guest is none other than mrs sangeeta puri she is ma in history and ma in education with a professional degree in bed dd and postgraduate diploma in education management recipient of mayor award 33 years of contribution in the field of education in primary years of schooling headed pre primary section also during her tenure so she is an expert right from pre primary to primary years expert in quality audits of systems and processes for standardization and benchmark practice conducted sessions for teachers on quality circles school management change management and other professional training sessions she has been a lifelong learner and a very passionate worker when it comes to anything related to education or children multifaceted as she loves singing dancing and traveling embraces every challenge positively and constructively she is currently working working at the capacity of headmistress primary and chief of non academic board at children's Acad children's academy group of schools she is also joint secretary of aper national core committee she has something special for all of us today this evening is going to become a very very enlightening evening because as i told you it is not that she manages to do something she is very very passionate about doing that everything that she does everything that she's going to tell us today will be like golden nuggets as mrs kusum kanwar said we are going to collect lot of golden nuggets so definitely by the end of this session all of us will be empowered and enriched and will be shining so with this i hand over this virtual stage to mrs sangeeta puri and the topic is revitalize energize and evolve so let's all together thank you so much seema and uh, good evening all of you i am very happy to be a part of aper and in able to contribute to the initiative that we have decided to educate each other i would not say i am sitting here to educate anyone but we are learning from each other so that is one way i i would just start my presentation i hope my camera stays still it's giving me some problem let me just try okay seema can you see my yes, uh, presentation yes we can we can and uh, what about me am i visible or gone as usual <laughs> so gone. so your presentation is visible and you are not visible so you are okay. now you are yeah. visible so presentation and you okay. both with let's let's hope it stays like this so uh, when i uh, talk about revitalize and energize and evolve please friends remember we are all here to learn and i am no specialized guru i am nobody to give you any gyan i am only here to tap on your hidden potentials somewhere where you can see what you have can you revitalize those things that you have within you it's just somebody to tell you that yes you have it in you and before we begin i'll have one small reflection activity where uh, i'm going to post a link and uh, in the link there you have probably just two questions and in these two questions you are going to uh, answer those two questions in just one word one word each okay so over to you here is the link that i'm trying and posting here in your chat box have you received the link friends seema can you see the link okay so chief to just answer these two little questions have you started answering yes 
you can chat your if you are not able to access the link you can even uh, ch uh, chat those answers for the first question on the chat box why do you teach or why are you in this profession so you can even type it in the chat function passion you can get some answers here because you are passionate okay any more answers in the chat box because i can see my okay i'm getting the answers on my drive as well which i can share with you like you can have a look at this because it's empowering because you're touching lives it's a noble profession yes waiting for some more responses and uh, what if we go to the next question what motivates you to do the best so i'll take both the questions together it's empowering that is why you want you are in this profession lovely okay so what if we go to the next question now the second question what motivates you to do the best the feedback remuneration students performance very good what else ongoing learning yes come on there is nothing right and wrong it is just about what you feel what is it that motivates you now that you're in this profession of teaching or education what is it that's motivating you so some are saying it's a feedback some say this is the on ongoing learning a very honest answer remuneration definitely and the student performance it impacts young minds when children show progress that's your motivation students yes the enthusiasm in the learning love for kids and this constant learning okay so that's lucky so we can look at that there are different things that drives us to do certain things the factor motivation factor is different for each one a simple answer would definitely be a personal gain but i know that that is one of the factor some might say that i'm yo by choice some might say i'm yo by chance some didn't have any choice and it was the circumstances that led you in this profession but now that you hear what is it that's keeping you motivated that's what we want to check and if we move you must have definitely come across the different types of motivation intrinsic that's from within extrinsic that's from the external factors so if i look at uh, can you see my presentation seema 
yes we can okay thank you so when you look at the successful people and you know how is it how is it what is it that's motivating them one simple thing would be that they know that they have started a task and they have to finish it rigorously come what may and if you are able to meet all the challenges you will be able to be successful but let's look at if we look at these two types of motivation which is external and internal i i would just give you simple examples and i am just sharing these examples so that it helps you understand that what are those factors that are motivating you whether is it internal or external nothing is wrong both the types of motivation is a need for any human being but it's for you to introspect so if i look at extrinsic motion and motivation and i say i go to work because i want to earn money i study because i want to get good grades and then a probably a good job if i say i'm helping others because i i like people when they praise me i volunteer because it looks good on my resume so these are some examples which are externally motivating me but whereas if i say i'm going to work because i enjoy doing what i'm doing and i don't mind staying longer i don't mind staying working much more harder to achieve the results if i say i'm studying but i'm studying because i want to see professional and personal development i want to better myself that is why i'm learning if i say i am uh, playing so i'm not just playing or playing any sport or uh, sitting and painting at home just because i want to put it in an exhibition and win accolades win some tournaments for some sports it is just because i enjoy work playing i enjoy it and it makes me happy to do these things i travel because i don't want to just reach one particular destination i travel because i want to explore different locations cultures people so these are some factors which you have to distinguish and see that which are these factors so if you want to be a good teacher or you want to be a good leader why is it that you want to be is it because you want to good, get good praises from others or is it that it is you like to inspire more people so this is the difference between the extrinsic and intrinsic motivation each person is different what motivates us is probably some kind of reward from external factors it's fine it is just that you all have to remember that let us keep a balanced Uh, attitude towards these motivating factors let us not be uh, too much dependent on this excessive rewards they can be problematic let us make sure that there are certain factors which help in intrinsic motivation probably curiosity sangeeta excuse challenge. me i uh, sorry sangeeta are you sharing your screen because it is i can't see it yes yes she is sharing yeah. and we can we can see the yes. screen all right okay thank you sorry okay so uh, what is it that you look at curiosity which is pushing you to learn further is it the challenge that you're ready to take and work on finding meaningful goals is it the recognition that innate desire to be recognized to work hard cooperation from others to work together look at what is it that's influencing you to uh, driving you to do better and once you know that and you know that these are some factors like if i uh, move ahead you have you are all probably trained teachers and educators and you have definitely come across this great uh, person maslow whose needs of the hierarchy of needs is given very very clearly but i'm i'm sure i'm sure each one knows and feels that you know it's good to talk about big things but what is more important is that are we are we able to satisfy ourselves uh, do we have food to eat do we have good shelter if we don't have these basic needs what is it that i'm going to do with the you know wonderful thoughts that you're sharing so yes your physiological needs are the most important as compared to as you look at the maslow's theory psychological needs but you when you move up when these are satisfied and you look at what more then you want to look at the safety needs are you safe 
are you secured is your job secure do you have financial safety and security is it that you also have good uh, a uh, package to take back home is there some freedom from fear so these are some safety needs and you move up i'm not going to take more time on this because i know it is an entire days session if i want to take to work on revitalizing and motivating or evolving i am just going uh, touching upon here because i want you to take home this food for thought and think about it so after we have satisfied these basic needs we move up the ladder and see the belongingness of the needs where we want to see whether are we part of a group are the people we do we have good relationship would we have good friendships uh, those are some affiliating connectedness of being part of the group and these give you a feeling of trust and acceptance if you satisfy this and you move up then you reach a place where you have good status good prestige which is going to help you in your esteem needs but friends remember till you don't reach this peak everything is futile if you don't reach the peak of self actualization where you have reached your full potential when you are working hard to satisfy yourself this passion this fire within you which is going to keep you moving up this ladder if we don't move there we are going to find we are going to be exhausted in the journey there are many people who try to move up higher up but uh, when there are challenges in between even in the lower levels you give up i would only request every person can move up to that level of self actualization where you are doing things because that's your passion because you are doing things because that is what you want to do you want to touch lives you want to inspire people you want to be happy in it not from the external factors so continue to work hard don't worry about the challenges that come in between face them you are going to reach there now if i want you to understand yourself how will you want to reach here i i would suggest a simple activity that is the johari bindu if you look at it you can see here that there are these four windows which you can look at the first one the open window it's a window which you have opened to the world yourself you have opened yourself to the world that part of it you are aware and the others are aware of the second part when you move is a blind spot in this blind spot there are probably things that others know about you and you don't so you are quite blind about it you you really not aware there could be probably if i if i talk about the things which i all know is your trait which you are showing your comfort zone but when you move to the blind spot probably you think that you are a very open minded people person but others feel that no no you're very impatient you're very intolerant so you think or in on the negative side also you might think oh i'm such a failure i'm not good at this but the other people might look at you and say oh my god she's such a success so there are these spots in your uh, traits which others know you better than what you know about yourself then when you go to the third window that's the hidden area this is you see in yourself but you don't want to show it to the world there are certain traits that probably you don't want to show the others uh, you could uh, have a lot of teachers in your school where you find that they are good at it but they don't want to show those skills probably a uh, feeling that unnecessary work will be thrown up on me or a feeling of why should i you know show them it will look like show off let us let it let me be modest or the fear of attack so this is one area which is hidden from the world about you and then when we come to the fourth window which is an unknown area it is an undiscovered area either by you or with, with your friends or anyone around you nobody knows these traits that you have it could be your future hopes and aspirations this is a a beautiful exercise friends 
if I had the time, I would have definitely taken you through this. But ideally, I would suggest that you do this for yourself at home. It's a very simple exercise, what you can do. Make a list of about 50 attributes or 50 traits of uh, any personality. They could be positive and negative. List it down. From there, pick any five or six which you think you truly belong. These are your traits. Pick those five, six. Take the next step, whether your friends, your colleagues, your partner, your spouse, your family, your children, anyone, anyone whom you think you know and they know you. Ask them to pick any five or six from those 50, the list of 50. You don't have to share what you have picked. Let them pick what they think about you. That will be your second step of your, you know, that blind spot could, could be we can find out. And in the third step, you take the data of what you have selected, take the data of what your friends or anyone has selected and tabulate it. Now, when you tabulate it, that is where you will realize and discover yourself. Because when you do that, you will come to know that there are certain attributes which both of you are uh, familiar with. So if you think you are very friendly, you are energetic, the others also feel the same. It could be positive or negative. Suppose you feel there is certain weakness with you. Others have also picked up that weakness in you. That means they also know that this is your weakness in you. But in the blind spot, in the second, you will be amazed to see that you have not picked up certain traits from that list of 50. But your friends, your colleagues, they have picked up those traits for you. That means you are not able to see that, but they can. It could be positive. It could be negative. People might think you're very trustworthy. You must have never thought about it. And that is why you didn't pick that trait from the list. It could be a negative trait as well. You might think that, oh, uh, she, uh, I am taking care of the people, uh, people around me. But some might feel, no, you're very insensitive. So that is one uh, area where you have to look at, oh, I need to work on it. What is it that I either, what is it that I'm showing is not the right thing or whether, whether people have read me in some way and I have to do some corrections there if it is a negative aspect. When you look at the third hidden area, you will be surprised because you are intentionally or unintentionally not showing them certain traits you have within you. You have those traits, but you don't want to show them. You are a sentimental person. You're very senti, but you're showing the people that you're very tough or uh, even unintentionally, probably you are uh, kind of uh, showing them, let us not overestimate my skills. I'm good at doing something, but I need, need not show them. People might think you're too boastful. And uh, so let me not show them those areas. So don't be too critical about yourself. This is one area which you will come to know that you are not showing the world and they are not coming to know this side of you. So if it is a negative trait that you have picked up for yourself, then it's something that you need to work on. If it is a positive trait you have picked up, but they have not, that means you need to work on it. Show the world that you have this positive trait in you. And this is the last area which you will find that from the list of those 50, there are so many traits which neither you nor your friends have picked up. Now, when you look at these traits, you put, it is like a playground. You can pick from there as goals, or you can just leave it. If there are negative traits, which both of you have not picked, good for you. If there are certain positive traits, which you think that, no, I want to do this. Uh, brave is come in an unknown area. Brave is a trait which no one has picked, neither me nor my friends. So do I want to work on this? Caring or a sensitive is both of us have not picked up. So do I want to do something which shows that I'm extra, can I show a little extra care? Can I be a little more sensitive to people and show that? So that is your goal. That is the goal that you're going to set for yourself. So this Johari window is a fantastic exercise people 
to dig deeper into yourself, the perception that people have about you. Often you assume that we are doing the right thing, but there are so many flaws within us which are oblivious to us. We're not even aware. And what is it that we can do for this? We will have to, we will have to work, move and take certain steps. What is it that I can do to evolve? Let's prioritize our learning. What is it that I want to learn? What is it that I want to do next? Understand your learning style. It is not necessary that every person who does the way they do, I will learn the same way. I have to figure out, no, I cannot learn. I want to learn when I'm doing things in a team. I do things better when I do alone. I want to learn my style and then set a goal for myself. Keep an open mind. Don't be judgmental and don't feel low about how can some people, don't be on a defensive mode. If people have picked up that from you, that you have this trait in you, don't feel defensive. It's a food for thought. Let me think about it. Stay patient. Don't get panicky that there are so many traits that they have written about me and I'm not even aware what it was it I'm doing. Let me take one step at a time. Laugh off the failures. Be open to your challenges. And this Johari window is the beautiful way to do your SWOT analysis. What are your strengths? What are your weakness? What are the opportunities? And what are the threats around you? And for this, one more exercise, if you want wish, you can do it. These are some things which is are like a takeaway for you. Have a small journal for yourself. And when I say journal, a small notepad is also enough. Now in the journal, your first thing is, uh, you can take a minute now also friends, if you want, uh, I would say uh, you can take one simple paper and a blank sheet draw one line, a diagonal line on that page. The lowest corner of the diagonal, put your birth date, date of birth. In the center of the diagonal, put today's date. And the end of the diagonal, you can assume your lifespan. Give yourself freely, uh, don't be pessimistic. You can say, I want to live for 20 years, 30 years, as many, as much as you want. Write that date that you think is the end of your life. Write that date there. Now in the first lower half, from your date of birth to today's date, write down at least five achievements which you have had. It could be personal or professional. Note them down. From today's date, till your last end date that you assume, you have to make five steps there. And in those five steps, put five goals. Some could be professional, some could be personal. I want to complete my PhD, or I want to, I want my children to get married, or I, I want a bigger flat. Any Anything that you think is uh, your goal before you die, set those goals. And the second step would be make your timelines for the same goals. I am I'm not looking at what goals you are setting. Nobody is telling you these are right or wrong goals. It is for you to figure out what is it that you're looking for in the life to come. In this lockdown, we have definitely learned life is too short. Let us do things. Let us not keep them in the back burner and feel that, oh, uh, you know, I cannot, I cannot do anything. So find a way set these goals. Seema, do you think, have you tried doing it on the paper? Yes. Okay. So it's a very simple exercise, but uh, it just helps us to think about it. And uh, when we set these goals, when we make our own timelines, then we have to see what is it that is going to motivate us. But as per my experience, I will tell you friends, nothing and no one can motivate us. We can motivate ourselves. If you look at the child and the mummies who nag them whole day, padho, 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 they're not going to study. But the day you have given them the right direction and they sit to study, you will realize that they do better when they sit on their own. And you tell them, as mothers, I'm very sure you might be saying, Dika, 
खुद से बैठ के पढ़ता है तो यू गेट सच गुड मार्क्स इट इज द सेम फॉर यू यू डोंट हैव टू फाइंड एन इंस्पिरेशन और मोटिवेशन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड इट इज इट हैज टू बी फ्रॉम विद इन एंड दैट इज पॉसिबल इफ यू हैव गिवन सम डायरेक्शन टू योर लाइफ लेट लेट इट नॉट जस्ट मूव अहेड एंड डू नथिंग फाइंड योर वेज इन योर जर्नल इट इज योर ओन बाइबल you write positive thoughts your negative thoughts no one is going to see those but those positive and negative thoughts are going to help you look at those experiences because whether positive or negative you learn from these experiences and when you learn you realize okay these were my strengths and these were my fears this is all that we want to look at whenever we look back in the life and we feel that oh what is it that we did we want to look back and have a good reflection of ourselves so journal is a reflection of yourself which no one else needs to know be your own critic be your own inspirer we are human we can't be perfectionist all the time but most of it stay humane to yourself only then you will be able to be humane to others don't give up whether you fail falter please do not give up and this is what it says because very clearly martin says that we can be demoralized disheartened sometimes sometimes we could be very energized sometimes a beginning could be the end of some chapter in our life and sometimes the end could be our beginning it could be anything so find your own ways to energize yourself i know uh, saying things are very easy but if you want to look at you want to energize your children in the class there are so many one minute games that you can use you can play them yourself never feel that oh these games are for the little ones and not for me i will just add one link for you to play be a child and try and play this give yourself a minute so are you getting the answers you can paste it on the chat box do not cheat very simple thing if you want to look at oh let me better myself professionally you know let's use this google baba for the right reasons there is a nice typing test for you a one minute typing test start the game you click on it start play the minute you get some score on the typing test you will feel oh how can i get so less come on let me better myself and you want to try it again these are very tempting games these are some tempting energizers which just you don't need outsiders to come and do it with you you don't have to pep yourself because someone else is going to bring some energy for you you have to pep yourself be your own motivators people you click on it and in the from the google you can find out as many games as you want to want to play better yourself you can also find a very beautiful tool which is a mind tool to uh, motivate yourself like if you think your johari window has not given you enough and uh, you couldn't make out your uh, strengths your weaknesses then you have this exercise you can copy all these links it is a link which helps you to figure out answer certain questions to know your characteristics to you know your personality trait and when you do that that's when you will realize that okay because the rating that you will get from your questions that you will answer those are the ratings which will tell you 
what kind of personality you are showing and where where is it that you need to work on so there is so much that you might want to find and do for yourself simple ways to energize is find your me time don't tell that if you get up in subah 6 baje se uthte hain yaar come on kahan hai time we get up right from the morning until night i don't have time so if you get up at 6 i would say try getting up at 5 but don't start your household chores that 5 to 6 1 hour half an hour keep for yourself do what you want to do sit by the window do nothing just know yourself know yourself that's the trait that you need to uh, uh, an activity that you need to do every day first you any hobby we say board games board games are for children no it's not like that whether it is chess or whether it is scrabble all these games are uh, games of high levels of concentration they are games of strategic thinking capabilities so don't give up on all these things and most of it socialize no lockdown can stop people from socializing you have got this beautiful online platform to socialize with people you don't have to wait for them to meet you personally physically in fact this is a better platform that you can connect with your friends even they are abroad even if they are in some rural place you can we never find time to go and the mantra for life that i follow and i ask all my teachers to follow is work hard and party harder be happy be happy to if you think that you want to make others happy first make yourself happy you cannot do anything if if you think that oh no it's not possible no find a way little things that make you happy will automatically spread this it is very contagious it is it is going to spread that happiness around everyone so remember renew energy is only going to revive your strength if you think great you're going to be great if you are energetic you are going to feel strong if you feel low on energy you are only going to feel sad depressed weak so what is it that you want to do what is it it the choice is yours no one else can do anything but you yourself i guess uh, i have tried to reach out to you in this little time that i have seema uh, is there anything that yes yes we will yes. come to that and i think you have really i mean given everyone a new perspective about their own me time though i can see your screen is frozen you can stop sharing the ppt so that you can come live on screen yeah i think so so right from maslow to johari window to swot analysis i think there is no bit you have left but yes we need to be our own critic and we need to be our own motivator because ultimately whatever the extrinsic force that will motivate you will stay with you for some time so it is the right opportunity to turn your windows turn your mirrors to the windows of opportunity each one and the best nugget that you have given is like sit by the window in the morning don't do anything when do we do that especially females we feel there yeah. is so much to do but so much to do so little to do for your own self is also equally important self. yes yes so may i request the audience if they have any question they can write in the question answer session and i will take all the questions though things were so beautifully explained that i don't think you have left any room for question but you have left lot of room for inspection and reflection so that is what everybody will have to do after this they will have to actually introspect and reflect where what how when but it's time yeah. that we have to start if we do not start then as you said pandemic has actually shown us the mirror the reality mirror it's it's like a reality check we need to pause for some time and we really need to analyze and reflect where are we and where we have to go it was beautifully presented um mrs kusum kanwar what would you like to add now and i really loved all the links that you have shared i was entering yes, to beautiful. each and every link and and, yes. and playing for a moment and coming back so that was really yeah, yeah <laughs> i was i really wanted a lot of time with the participants but um, I thought at least let me share because it's such a 
take away from them for them right 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 but um, even i tried the the typewriter and things like that very exciting even though i got very less scores maybe i'll i'll you know i'll try to better on on that <laughs> so anyone uh, with uh, you know with any questions with anything that you'll want to so uh, i can see one participant raising hand you will have to type your uh, question rather than raising hand that is how we to take it Right. Yeah. Do one simple example for your reflection is when you want to click a photograph, your selfie, and and uh, the background is turned hazy. Hmm. Yes, I I think what Sangeeta. Uh, was to say is when it gets hazy then we we Maybe work the, on it and we yeah uh, we lost to sangeeta in between features that you have yes so you'll it have to repeat that repeat sangeeta that you, yes what is the shut your door we lost okay i, I was selfie. just saying about <laughs> when stuck. you click a photograph with a new phone feature selfie so when right. we take a selfie and then later we edit and we make those background hazy for ourselves to be very clear so we are looking at ourselves in the mirror when you're taking a selfie but we are trying to shut those uh, background which is there around and we feel that no let us just let this shine look at That's those true. things which are there around because those are some factors which are pointing at you and trying to tell you there is a room for improvement absolutely and if you take it positively yes. you will always improve also sangeeta i'd like to add that you know something which uh, uh, which i've been uh, you know reading a lot is emotional regulation so all of us uh, we need to be char- in charge of our own emotions be able to identify the emotion that we are going through and uh, uh, you know also in a couple of situations especially when it's not uh not so positive or it's stressful ones you know uh, yes. we need to find good and best ways to handle it so um so our lives are beautiful and perfect because they're filled with imperfections so i was just reading this somewhere yes. and uncertainty so our life would be perfect and in harmony only if we accept that our lives of you know lives are full of imperfect me imperfect loved ones and imperfect situations filled with uncertainties so um, you know we need to make the best of it and uh, uh, you know your jewelry window is beautiful and uh, yes i'm i'm also going to so make that a chart, actually can uh, be yeah. going for you know 2 3 hours we want to make Absolutely. them do it in their yes. you know known groups it's a beautiful right. activity but we have right. to just give away for them to practice at home on their own yes absolutely you, you're so you right actually, yes you, you actually took us back to our uh, education management days you know yes. one full yes. lecture for i mean for 2 <laughs> 3 hours was really johari windows and right. yes. it was so so uh, meaningful i think absolutely. during the passage of time we as teachers sometimes forget that these are the areas that we have to really work on right exactly truly enlightening sure so anything more sangeeta you'd like to add or any of the participants would like to uh, add in here i can see anything if you want to they ask really anything you can that put it on the chat the johari they've written they love the yes. johari which that was the real jewel and they have written about super link share and and i am also adding super link shared because i was also yes. present there and yes <laughs> yes wonderful session yeah. everybody has appreciated because i think giving so many nuggets in such little time it's self incredible and you have done it so well so simplistic so realistic wherein each one of us could identify yes these are the areas we have to work on thank you so much thank you so much it was a pleasure uh to bring something in us very snippet with things which i believe i uh, do share with my teachers most of the time they they are aware i tell them first you know hug yourself first embrace yourself when you hug yourself only then you're going to give spread that love around so if you don't take care of yourself you don't love yourself you cannot love anyone else so uh, i think that is what drives you to do better wonderful wonderful thank you so much and all the participants um uh, i hope you all have got that uh, email eca admin@gmail.com 
please do type in your WhatsApp number, your name, your uh, also the location and email it to us so that we can add you on to different WhatsApp groups. And uh, you, know, you will be informed about all the workshops, all the sessions, whatever is coming in the April way. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, Ms. Sangeeta. It was absolutely amazing. And you know, I, I loved, uh, you know, I, of course, I mostly loved your jewelry window and uh, also all the links. And thank you, Dr. Seema Negi, for you know, making this uh, so, uh, so lively and making it, you know, constantly there were questions and you kept adding in your inputs. Thank you so much for it. And thank you, everyone. And it was a wonderful session. Yes. So we can, um, yes, we can say bye-bye. Have bye -bye. a great evening. Bye. Yes. So bye. Have a lovely evening and um, stay connected. As Kusum Ma'am said, please stay connected because there's so much that we can learn together and we from APER are always open to extend our support to entire education fraternity. With this, we are signing off and this beautiful series under the guidance of Kusum Ma'am is coming to an end today. Before we come with the next series, till then, thank you so much. Have a lovely evening ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.